Good, whatever your time zone is, I hope you're having a good, uh, whatever your time zone is. But enough of the introductions though, because what we've got served on the slice of life today is... So, if you haven't heard, the UK is on the decline to complete an utter collapse. And uh, before I get into that, I just want to say that my heart does go out to the residents of UK who are trying to keep your country alive. It is commendable, and I would say that other countries should be having the same type of pushback on what is happening. And, of course, I'm just gonna say it. Yes, I realize that words don't really mean a whole lot when actions are happening from a mob. But the thought is that I want the message to reach as many people for what everybody should be doing against tyranny. And I will also start adding this to my vocabulary. If the left ever calls you right wing or far right, I would honestly just say that we should start thanking them. Cause what is far right these days? What, we care about our country, we care about our country's culture, we care about our people, we care about our children and their future. The left, for the longest time, have found that allying the right wing as just being far right which allocates us with the, the, the square mustache group, was always a surefire way to make us deviate from what we were doing. The UK is currently becoming shambles from immigrants who don't give one hoot about assimilating to UK culture. And Pierre Starmer has decided to call everyone who's protesting against those immigrants from taking over their country as being far right. Here he is saying that. Attacks on the police, wanton violence alongside racist rhetoric. So no, I won't shy away from calling it what it is, far-right thuggery. To those who feel targeted because of the colour of your skin or your faith, I know how frightening this must be. I want you to know that this violent mob do not represent our country and we will bring them to justice. Our police deserve our support as they tackle any and all violent disorder that flares up. So let us take a really quick look at the immigrants who are Islamic. Could anyone tell me why the UK citizens might feel targeted for their skin color? Is it by any chance for the fact that they are? Could anyone tell me why a country with Islam not being the predominant religion would perhaps even be scared when Islamic immigrants who don't assimilate to anyone else's culture enter? Is it perhaps what Islam brings along with it? protests with fire, spray painting hateful symbols and messages, and then straight up attacking people who are either people who don't want to conform to Islam or people with differing religious views. I know that my content caters to a more religious crowd, but atheists, you realize that just cause y'all don't believe in a sky daddy does not mean that you guys are anywhere near the statement of safe. You'll know that, right? Anywho, I already hear some of the comments down below, to which I have to say. Look at the world that Islam is leading. They brought the same thing to France, the UK, America, and probably soon Canada as well, if it is not already happening in Canada. They infiltrate countries with open borders, start protesting in places with impressionable young people in hope that they'll start protesting for Islam's cause, and then, cause the liberal governments are spineless money hungry dolts on society that don't do jack sh to protect their own citizens, then they start becoming more and more aggressive. Which then just leads to the anarchy that is ongoing in France and in the UK. Look, my heart does go out to the proud UK people who are going against their own culture being eroded. But I must keep this a stack. I talk Canadian and American politics, so I'll keep it there, while providing a voice over here for your struggles. 
so that the large media companies can't just shove all of this down while screaming, la 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 la, far right, la 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 la. So the message is still the same, because it will always be the same message for everything that liberalism brings. They bring nothing but problems. Higher taxes, higher homelessness, higher substance usage, higher costs just to live, and now they're bringing our demise in the hands of people who want us dead by providing open borders. But here it is, the very simple solution to all of it. Vote conservative. And yes, it is just that simple. And I really have no idea as to how you could be against that. Because you don't even really need to do that much effort into doing it. And at least, by you voting conservative, you'll be moving both America and Canada towards making them both great again. And to me, that sounds pretty damn great. And if you agree with that, then hit that like button. And if you want to listen to more daily news, then hit that subscribe button to join an independent conservative piece of YouTube media that talks about stuff going on all over North America. Either way though, I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, have a good one. <laughs>